afternoon, and welcome back to Devotions with Pastor Brett, as we continue to look into God's Word for that encouragement that He gives to us. And so today we're going to look at a passage from Paul's letter to the Galatians in chapter 3. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female. For you all are one in Christ Jesus. And if you are in Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. I'm sure all of you have been following the news uh, this past couple of weeks as we just look to the unrest and injustice that seems to be going on throughout our nation as we have probably seen the, the footage of George Floyd's um, arrest and, and death and just all the, the riots and protests and looting and fires that have just been coming on uh, after that. And so for me, it's just a matter of what, what can we do? What can we say uh, as, as someone that has never gone through any of that, um, gone through discrimination, um, or inequality, um, what can we do as, um, as brothers and sisters in, in Christ? And so just be reminded that, that we are all one. We have all been baptized into Christ, uh, and, and we are part of, of God's family. And it doesn't matter if you are um, black, white, red, yellow, male, female, um, we are all uh, part of the body of, of Christ, and we all are heirs uh, to that promise, that promise of forgiveness, that promise of eternal life with, um, with Christ. And so I just pray uh, for our country. I pray for those that have uh, had inequality and injustice uh, done in their lives. Um, and my prayer is also that, that we can just be that, that listening board uh, to, to be there with, with empathy uh, and, and to cry and to... Um, just be there for all our brothers and sisters as uh, we struggle in a, a fallen world. Uh, to know that we can point people to the forgiveness that is in Christ, but most importantly, we can point them to Jesus. Uh, for Jesus gives us the peace that this world cannot give. Uh, this world that we still live in is, is broken. Uh, and Christ has given us a promise that he will be with us um, and more importantly, he has promised that he will give us that eternal life. Where we'll be together with him, with our Father, in paradise, where there will be um, no more crime, no more punishment, um, or cancer, or death, uh, but just perfection uh, with him. And so it's my prayer that we are reminded of what Paul says, that we are all one in Christ um, and let us uh, just be there for our brothers and sisters uh, who are struggling. Um, and so stay in prayer. Uh, be reminded to point people uh, to Jesus. Uh, and so have a blessed rest of your day and God's peace. Mm -hmm.